For high school students, this has been a year of lost opportunities because of lockdowns. But here's a story about a Year 12 student who's used this time very productively to create a life-saving bushfire app. It uses artificial intelligence to map out which areas are safe once a bushfire starts. Dylan Newen was midway through a school hiking trip when the black summer bushfires hit. When we woke up the next morning, the sky had turned orange and it was a 2,000 hectare fire and we were kind of panicking. As they were being evacuated, they passed a local primary school. For that to be another casualty of the fires was something that uh, really, really touched a chord with me. He decided he wanted to help and spent the next three months reading everything he could about artificial intelligence and machine learning. With the knowledge that I'd gained uh, about machine learning, even though it wasn't a whole lot, I could probably make something that was a little useful. The result is Satellite, a web application that uses algorithms to train computers to classify areas of land according to bushfire risk. Now you can look at a statewide picture of bushfire risk in a way that is fairly accurate and also very quick. The app uses free open source satellite images that are updated weekly, meaning the maps are quick and cheap to produce. The only cost really comes from the server, which is $7 a month, so really it's not a whole lot. His idea has impressed the experts. The fact that he was able to develop this product at home during lockdown while still undertaking his schooling is, is you know, a, quite a, a remarkable effort by him. A recent inquiry into the devastating bushfires recommended the RFS explore exactly this kind of new technology. Look, we're certainly examining how we might be able to use that going forward. All those hours were, were, were definitely worth it. A journey that's led to an unexpected destination. Ursula Malone, ABC News, Sydney.